I'm going to do that. Um, I'm going to do two poems for you, and they're both around this concept of choice, because I think when, when we go through something that is in here, sometimes we are given a gap, an opportunity where we either carry on as we are, or we choose another way to become something that is truer to us. Okay, so the first one quite aptly is called uh, The Choice Inside of the Mist. I live in a mist, choosing darkness over light. It is too tempting to resist being shrouded out of sight. Because the easy choice it reigns, like a glitch inside the mind. As though it is laughing at all the pains that it has made and refined. Because this seclusion seems inevitable, or so societal trickery tells us so. Because to be better, it's, uh, it's not believable. So we debase ourselves and just stay low. But inside that mist, there is a, a, a shimmer. First, it's only faint. Believe in it, though, and it becomes a, a glimmer. With such radiance, it will not taint. So this is the new choice that arises now. And that to follow that guiding hope or go back inside the mist and allow yourself to fall down an unknown slope. choice that we make individually. The second poem is about when well, we make that choice, okay, but what do we do when we start living our lives? What choice do we make then? So the second one is called Leaving the Game. Each human, a piece on the uh, board of a game. New players this time, but the rules are still the same. Dice are rolled. Moves are made. And sometimes when you have no choice, you regret that move you made. But it continues. Everyone progressing. Accolades. Profits. Applause. I realise the irony that you just applauded me earlier, but I'll, I'll, I'll park that for now. We'll just ignore that. Because um, even then, you still feel like you're regressing. Because inside that wooden exterior is an essence unique and wonderful but feels inferior. Because there's no rule for that new insight. And so you question justly, is how I feel now actually right? Meanwhile, you're still moving off pieces across the board. External, or external gratifications, like, well done, be a man, just soak it up, suck, suck it up, who cares? Said by the wrong people, they make you feel egotistically adored. But inside that insight, it blossoms and grows. <coughs> so you start to see beyond the facades and you see your woes. But the game continued and you've nearly been completed. All the others who played, they won yet. I think they were defeated. And you're about to be moved and controlled once more. Just to prove that continuity is the way that it should be for. But with this new human feeling and reward, you're offered with the choice, carry on playing, or trust yourself and jump off that board. <laughs> 